Hey guys, so yes, I am outside because um, I'm just honestly so tired of not being able to come outside and it's actually in the 50s today so I am outside in a light jacket, it's March, it's almost spring, I'm super excited, I'm just so happy to be outside and able to breathe. So yeah, today's video is going to be another episode of Bullshit with Bran. But for real, I feel like I should call these episodes like that or something because basically that's all this is. It's just me talking about a bunch of bullshit. Thumbs up if you guys like the title. Maybe I'll call it that. I don't know. Today is going to be another experience story. Um, I told you guys in my last experience story, which um, seemed to get a good many views than what my normal videos get. So I take it that either people were interested in watching that or... They just clicked on it for the hell of it, which I don't really care. Get me some views, you know? What the hell? Today's video is going to be my stalker experience story. And I'm just going to go right ahead and jump into this because I don't want to make the video too long. So um, basically, I was going to the Family Dollar store in my local town. And um, I just happened to be back in like the lower aisles where the food aisles were. And I was getting, you know, a couple things and I didn't get a damn card either, which <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does that. But I go in and just like say, oh, I'm only getting one or two things. And then my arms just wound up like super overloaded. And I'm just like this walking through the store like, oh, wait, I need that too. I need that. I need that. Yep. Anyways, <laughs> if that happens to you, then I don't feel so alone because that's always happened to me. I don't know. I'm just crazy. Anyways, um, I just happened to like turn around to like my left side and... I saw this this man that's probably in his 60s or 50s I don't really know but anyways um, I remembered him from when I worked at the dollar store the uh, Dollar General other yeah our, the Dollar General in our town as well which is like across town and I remembered that I really did not care for this man like I mean I didn't like talking to him because every time he would come in he would always come and find me and flirt with me and just kind of give me that really creepy vibe and I don't know this guy just literally looks like I don't want to say this in a mean way because this guy could be harmless for all I care or all I know and he just kind of looks like a molester or something like or a rapist or I don't know he just gives you that creepy vibe just by his eyes and um, anyways so when I saw him I was like oh shit so I was like I do not want to talk to this guy because I know this guy had not seen me since I worked at the dollar store and I think and I knew right away that he knew that that was me like he was at the end of the aisle and I was over here by like the freezer doors and I just happened to like look to the left and saw him and I just like immediately darted down through the straight aisle in front of me and so there's like aisles this way and he's over in this other main aisle and like I just like darted for the cash register I'm like I think I got everything I needed and if I didn't I can I can get it another day the hell with it I'm not screwing around in here with this fucking freak so I got to the cash register and there was like two people in line <laughs> and I was like oh my god oh my god you know I'm just standing there and I was by that time when I was in line I was actually in his main aisle that he was in so I turned around and I saw him and right when I turned around like he was looking directly at me and he started back up through the store and this was the weird part so like I turned around and acted like you know da 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 minding my own business like please don't fucking talk to me please don't come near me you freak so you know while all these things are going through my head um he comes to the front of the store and just kind of casually is walking and like looking out the doors of the front of the store that he obviously come into just like it made it was so obvious that he was like trying to look and see if it was me or trying to look to see that he could talk to me and I was not looking at him at all like I was like looking over here trying to ignore you know and he's just like up here and I'm like right here and he's just looking out the doors like this and then he turns around looks at me and then walks back this other aisle and I'm just thinking to myself really like how obvious was that at that point 
So the lady in front of me actually had like a whole cartload of stuff and I only had like my hands full of stuff and she let me go in front of her which was super nice and thank you God for that lady because um so I went in front of that lady and then by that time he was coming up to get in line and I had no idea what he had bought or anything and I was just thinking to myself oh my god this is just typical. So anyways, right next door to the Family Dollar is actually a shop and save, or our, it's our local grocery store. So um, I had to go in there to get some grocery items that the dollar store did not have. So um, I went in there, you know, I got my little cart, I got the like little mini cart, you know, I just like those carts because you can just like, yeah, they go so easily and you can just kind of like fly through the store with them. And <laughs> anyways, I didn't have to get a lot either, so it was, it was convenient for me. So I go in and I get all my stuff and I get up to the register and by the time that I'm up at the register getting ready to put my stuff off, um, I could see like through the front doors of the store and by that time he was coming in the front doors of the store and I was just like, oh my god, really? So he comes in and kind of like looking around and then he looks and he sees that, you know, I'm in the checkout line and he's just like looking at me. And I'm like, oh fuck. So I'm like ignoring him, you know, not giving direct eye contact. So um, by that time he comes down, like the register was right here and over on the other side is like a, a little tiny aisle there um, where they have like newspapers and stuff like that. So he like walks down through on the other side, picks up a newspaper, walks back behind and is like looking around the back of the store, just kind of like looking and looking. And by that time, another gentleman, another man, like come up behind me, you know, and had a, a cart full of stuff. So I'll, thank you, God, for that man. Thank you. You, I mean, what the hell? So he got in behind me, and I felt so much better that he knows somebody else was behind me. And then I turned around, and the guy was coming up to get in line with his fucking newspaper in my fucking line. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So I was at that point getting aggravated and just kind of like felt like I mean I don't know if that's really stalking somebody but I felt like I was being kind of stalked to a point um you know and why didn't the guy if he really wanted to talk to me why didn't he just say hey you know and why follow me around like a fucking creep like oh my god I, I I just don't even know about people in this world like I do not trust anybody like I was telling you guys in my last video I cannot bring myself to trust anyone. So, for all I know, this guy could be really harmless and just be, you know, just out flirting with women for just the hell of it, but could be harmless. I don't know. I don't really care. But I just know that I did not particularly like this man. And he just made me feel very uncomfortable when I used to talk to him before. Like, he was just really weird. And so anyways, I darted for the front door. I had my stuff, and I mean, I like went 100 miles an hour out the door like people probably thought I was like crazy or something I mean the way I was fucking walking I mean I was doing some serious fucking speed walking out that fucking door <laughs> I was like wee <laughs> and like I was gone I was like um fucking the road runner you know <laughs> so I got in my car and I like left out of that place and later you know I told my husband about it just and to see if he could remember who the guy was and like he he didn't know but if he saw the guy he would know he was and he's like He's like, yeah, if I would've witnessed that, I would've kicked his ass. And I'm just like, uh, I'm like, yeah, knowing you, you probably would've, but, um, anyways, it's just a known fact that you can't even go to your local stores. You always want to make sure that you are aware of your surroundings, and that is a true factoid. Like, I watch the, um, invest Investigation Discovery Channel, the ID channel, every day of my life. I'm obsessed with that channel. I love watching the crime stories. Um, I could be a detective because I always know who the killer is and I'm just like I'm naturally instinct to know what you know what's bad you know like I just feel like I know what's wrong like I don't know I can sense it. I don't know <laughs> what that is but anyways this one episode on the ID channel was of this girl that turned 18 and she was going to her local Target store and you know she was she told her parents that she'd be back you know and it was a summer day she was in really short shorts and a little tank top and she had long brown hair and she's really pretty and she went into her, her local Target store she uh, parked her car 
which was like a few rows back so it wasn't up front to the store but it was kind of in the middle and she went in and you know she was shopping around you can see her on camera and stuff and uh um there's this guy shows up and he's about i don't know 23 or so in his 20s low 20s and um he's uh following her around and you can tell on the video that she has no idea that she is being followed and um see that to me is just like i would have i would have if it was me i would have noticed that because those are things that i look for when i go into a store like if somebody is in the same aisle as me a few different times i'm gonna be like concerned but this girl she was just having a normal day and just like getting herself and she didn't pay no attention to this other guy that was in every single aisle as she was and just kind of casually you know he was trying to act as casual as he could by walking around but at the same time he always ended up where she was and so he uh once he realized that i think she was done shopping he uh went to the checkout line and bought whatever he bought like one item or something and he darted for the parking lot and so she you know she comes up and she's paying for her stuff and talking to the cashier and stuff and you know then she goes outside and you can see her on camera going out to her car and so she gets to her car door and like the next thing that you can see on the camera it's it was really hard to see because it was blurry it's just like this really quick blur of somebody running towards her like just a really quick like blur but you could see it you could see the person running toward her forced her in her vehicle at gunpoint and drove her car out of the lot just like nothing you can see the car just pulling out and leaving and um the girl was reported missing for like a couple days i think and they found her car in the mall parking lot where she where the guy had uh drove her car back abandoned it and then got in his truck and you can see him leaving in his truck and the girl was gone and so like a couple i forget how long it was and they found her in the woods and she was dead and he raped her and murdered her and just i mean this girl had no idea it was like her last day and really? girl had like no idea that it was her last day on the earth and I think that's what really is it's like so scary if you're not watching your surroundings like anything could happen to you and you just want to be on alert like carry some pepper spray or carry a fucking gun you know like you want to be prepared for stuff like that and I personally won't even go to the store by myself anymore like if it's away from here and I don't even like going by myself around here to be honest like either I go with my friend um, or I go with my mom or I go with my husband like I go with somebody because you just don't know what's gonna happen and yeah that was a really sad story of that girl and um, just all those stories are really sad you know but they're true they're true it happens every day and it's just like you need to be aware of what goes on around you at all times no matter what so so yeah um that's it for this video um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it was another experience story if you guys are enjoying my experience stories please give this video a thumbs up and let me know and um also tell me what else experiences you would like me to tell you um i have done a good bit of stuff in my life so um i could tell you my club experiences or just um, if you guys would be interested in that kind of stuff i don't know if you would or not but i have a couple different ones um um just anything really so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video i love you guys peace out